EVs are only as clean as the power that is used to recharge them. Indeed, there are those who love to tell us that EVs actually generate more CO2 than ICE cars because they are recharged using power generated by burning coal. But is that true? It's not uncommon for people to say that EVs are not clean because they run from dirty power. Like energy generated by this coal-fired power station behind me, this is the Ratcliffe on Soar power station in Nottinghamshire. This is the dirty secret that lies behind all EVs. Our grid is filthy and EVs are just moving pollution, not getting rid of it. Makes sense, right? Well, no, not entirely. An EV is extremely efficient, much more so than an ICE car. So it's actually possible for an EV to produce less CO2 per mile, even when powered from coal. Only just, but that is the reality. But actually, it doesn't matter. You see, not much of the UK's energy is generated from coal anymore. In fact, what you see behind me is all that's left. This is the last coal-fired power station in the UK, and even this one closes this month. By the end of September 2024, none of the UK's electricity will be generated from coal at all. Coal-fired generation was traditionally very high in the UK. For example, just under 70% of our electricity was generated this way in 1987. However, the switch to gas would start soon after that, and generation from gas would overtake coal just 12 years later in 1999. A brief resurgence of coal in 2012 lasted only two years, after which it declined very rapidly. So much so that in 2016, the electricity generated from coal-fired power stations dropped to less than 10% of the total, and has hovered around 2% since 2019. Coal became a dirty word once the pollution and smog it caused were widely understood and a strategic shift was made to replace coal with natural gas. However, closure of the UK's coal-fired stations has probably come about now for a simpler reason – cost. Coal simply became too expensive. Mining and shipping vast amounts of it was a very expensive thing to do. As an example, the last coal train to deliver to this power plant back in July was carrying 1,650 tonnes of the stuff, an immense amount. As soon as renewables became cheaper than fossil fuels, the switch to clean electricity was assured, and they have been cheaper for about five or six years now, but even more so since the jump in gas prices brought about by the war in Ukraine. The reduction in CO2 emissions from the use of fossil fuels is no bad thing, of course, after all, we have a legally binding target to reach net zero by 2050. And cleaning up the grid benefits everything that uses electricity in both residential and commercial sectors. Indeed, this chart from our world in data, showing the carbon intensity of electricity in the UK since 1990, shows just how much progress has already been made. In 1990, each kilowatt hour of electricity we generated resulted in the release of 705 grams of CO2 equivalent, whereas in 2023, this was just 238 grams, a reduction of 66%, with much of that reduction in the last 12 years. The UK has done particularly well in this regard, but we are not alone in improving. If we think of countries with particularly dirty grids, Poland springs to mind. A lot of their generation is from locally sourced coal. It's a resource they have in abundance. But they are starting to switch away from it. And as we can see in this graph, they have made good progress in the last few years. And even China, whose emissions are regularly the subject of finger pointing by those in the West who want to distract from their own contribution, have started to reduce the carbon intensity of their electricity generation. Their overall improvement is small, but when considering China, we have to bear in mind the speed at which their energy usage has been growing in this period, which has been pretty extraordinary. And indeed, when we plot the two together, we can see that China have a cleaner grid than Poland. 
So maybe we shouldn't point the finger at China quite so much. Plenty of Western countries have work to do. To be fair, it is absolutely true that China is still building new coal-fired power plants, but they are also installing a staggering amount of renewables. Their main problem is keeping up with growth in demand. Having a look at a few others, Germany, Spain and Portugal are all heading in the right direction, although perhaps a bit slower than the UK. But none of us are a France or a Norway who had an extremely clean grid to start with. The closure of Ratcliffe on Saw is the end of an era, the end of coal-fired electricity generation in the UK. However, since we in the UK played such a large part in starting the Industrial Revolution, it seems rather fitting that we are early in the move towards its next phase, its clean phase, built on renewables, coupled with storage to help mitigate the variability they often entail. The UK is rapidly decarbonising its grid. In 2023, 46% of the electricity we generated came from renewable sources. And as a result, the CO2 emissions from everything that uses electricity are rapidly reducing. No, EVs are not dirty. They will run just as well on clean electricity as they did when our electricity was generated by burning vast amounts of fossil fuels. Thanks very much for joining me. Your questions and comments on this subject are most welcome. I hope the numbers have piqued your interest. If you've liked the video, then it's a help to me if you click the thumbs up button. And it would also help me achieve my stretch goal for the channel if you would subscribe as well. Thanks.